I had a mastectomy and went through chemo, radiation, and two years ago found out that my cancer had returned. And it was triple negative breast cancer. What do we have to do? We have to roll it out a little bit, honey. I was diagnosed in 2014. I was picked up a routine mammogram. And when we knew it was triple negative, <sighs> yeah, that's where you take that, that sigh of, oh my God. Why me? Why me? Unfortunately, we still do not have a targeted treatment for this type of breast cancer. 2016, I had come back from Vietnam and Cambodia, and I had this little discomfort, and I figured I picked up a little something in Southeast Asia. And no, that was the cancer in my liver. The other thing with triple negative is when it comes back, unlike other breast cancers, mm -hmm. it generally does not go back to the breast. It goes yes, to the liver, the right. lungs, bone, and brain. So, you know, it's, 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 it's a tough one. When the cancer comes back, it becomes difficult uh, to treat. Um, and of course, we worry about uh, patients that cannot make it through the disease. So together with Dr. Lori Goldstein, we designed this clinical trial looking at the combination of chemotherapy along with uh, immunotherapy. And having the pilot funding really helped us at least get started I was diagnosed with breast cancer five years ago. I believe in Dr. Obeid and his research and his work, and I want to help others, and that's why I decided to donate. Diane always would ask me about my research. She was genuinely interested in what I was doing. And one day she said, how can I help you? That's where the pilot funding really helped us. It became real. The grant from Merck uh, for this drug, Pemeruzumab, they believed in the science behind it. They said, we want to give you the money to move forward. How much money was that? It was $1 million. When this clinical trial came up, I was just so excited because I, I felt that I had a, had a chance. Came back to well, Lori Goldstein and she said, uh, it's a trial that we've just opened up and I would really like you to participate in. And it was Dr. Ubeed's trial. And my kids looked at me and I looked at them and we had this grin on our faces and it was a no-brainer. It was, yes, I'm participant number one. And I'm participant number two. Pilot funding is absolutely critical to allow an investigator to pursue exploratory ideas and creative ideas that the NIH would otherwise never fund. This program will give the center the opportunity to fund young researchers with great ideas. And everything, every advance in medicine and technology starts with a good idea. That pilot funding can allow us to ask really big picture questions that can have huge impacts on um, patient treatment and outcome. GIS are a rare sarcoma, and these tumors were the first solid tumor to be targeted at the molecular level with Gleevec. I was the first postdoc um, that was funded by a woman named Tanya Stutman and her husband Robert. Tanya was diagnosed with a GIST and was enrolled on the first Gleevec clinical trial here at Fox Chase, um, and she's still on the drug today. The seed money is really, really important to allow us to test ideas that, you know, maybe the NIH finds too risky, but those risky questions that we often are asking ourselves are the ones that pay off, so high risk, high reward. The competition for the early stage grants is tremendous, and that's where private philanthropy has to jump in and fill the gap. So here at Fox Chase, we study and treat everything from the rare tumor types like GIST to the well-publicized cancers like breast cancer and everything in between. I'm investigating Musashi protein that uh, drives lung cancer. We are studying links between dietary cholesterol and other nutrients in pancreatic I'm cancer. I'm working on how to improve patients' quality of life during their treatment with head and neck cancer. My research interest is in neuroendocrine tumors. How to improve outcomes for patients with kidney cancer and bladder cancer. Investigating the disparities in cancer incidence in the African-American population. How 
Factors outside an individual, like your neighborhood, affect uh, pancreatic cancer, liver cancer, or uh, prostate cancer development. Deciphering the molecular mechanisms that drive acute myeloid leukemia progression and chemotherapy resistance. I study new molecules that are involved in blood cell development for the treatment of blood cell cancers like leukemia and lymphomas. Pilot funding to me um, gives an opportunity to programs that might never see the light of day. The research and the, the cure could come from anywhere, so the more we're able to do, the more we can help. We obtained pilot funding from Fox Chase to pursue the serendipitous observation of a new cell death pathway. We've leveraged these discoveries into two new clinical trials that are currently underway at Fox Chase. I feel like I'm going to be able to make a difference in people's life. What keeps me going is the motivation that one day we're going to be able to, to achieve our goal. To be really helping someone and see the difference it's making in their lives is so significant. It just, it, it just means a lot to me to, to be able to give someone else hope. Your generosity makes it so we have a chance. A chance we have a chance at life. You know, I have two great daughters, six beautiful grandchildren, and I want to be there for the fun things. This is what keeps me going. I'm able to do things, and it's just, I thank God every day for, for you and, and people like you, because you just don't understand how much, what, it, means. To, how much it means to us, to our families. Um, just, there, there aren't words. There aren't words, so thank you. Oh, I love thank you, Diane. Oh. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm.